Well, we all know that fall is really a transitional time of year with the weather, but it can be hard to know what shoes to wear with all of that. So, and also what to wear with what. Very confusing. So, we brought in my stylist, Alexis Hans. Hey, thank who, you. Who's got the best boots on. Look at Alexis's boots. I love I these boots. I just got them last night. You yeah. just got those last night. I quite <laughs> like those boots. Those are very cool. Thank so you. You're going to show us, you're talking about trends right now. Yeah, there's a lot of new trends. It's fall, so we're getting out of our pumps, our peep toes and whatnot. Yeah. We're getting into heavier shoes, so it is harder to know what to wear with them. Yeah. But there's lots of trends, so that's where you want to start. Take a look at the runway, see what inspires you, and then go shopping. What you really like. So what you want to show us here well, on this beautiful wall of shoes? So you want to get out of your peep toes, but you still want to keep a pump for fall because it's nice to opaque tights. Cobalt blue is a huge color. This is pretty. It's gorgeous. It's bright. Now, you can get it in a solid, but I feel sometimes almost it looks too summery. So I really love what Aldo did. And it's just a nice leopard print. So it softens the blue. So mm -hmm. it's not such a statement. And then again, statement heels. And this is a color block heel. So you're getting thicker heels this fall. Okay. Easy to walk in and solid colors. So I kind of love that the color blocking is brought into fall. And it looks way. like well, if you put it tight with that, it's nice and solid. And, you know, yeah, and cobalt blue, I know we kind of match our colors together. But this looks so good with blues purples, maroons. This is a nice color. It's more of your new stable for fall. Think okay. of it as your black pump. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Another store that I've actually been into more often lately yeah. is Toe, one of my favorites for the season. Plaid on the runway kind of came off as a grunge look. A little too hard to bring into our closets, I think. So what's really great is just bring a little touch of it into your shoe. So we got a nice plaid Oxford booty. So that's a big trend as well. Very cute. I like that a lot. You don't want to wear plaid head to toe, but it's great in a booty. Yep. Okay. And then my last, we're going right into the boots, which you know are my favorites. I yeah. love boots. And this is Sam Edelman. Does lovely, lovely plaits for spring. So their boots are just as comfortable. Mm. This is a really comfortable brand. I really love it. It's available at Hudson Bay. And again, just looking for texture. So I love the fringe that yeah, we have going on there. Cool. Yep. And I'm not showing a lot of black booties because I'm really into these tans and caramels. They're really easy to wear. I found we find that when we dress you too. Yeah. Sometimes it just softens the look of the outfit. Instead of wearing black. Instead of wearing black. So have your black, wear that as your go-to, but yeah. don't be afraid with an all-black outfit to try on a brown a shoe. shoe. A brown the other thing, you might have the black from last year. Brand exactly. Or two. Yeah. Okay. So buy a new one. And season. now what we're going to do is show you how to wear them because right. sometimes we with their rules on Well, yeah, and tons of questions. You have different skirt lengths and you're wearing some more jackets so yeah. that balances the look. So first up, we got a midi skirt. Come on in. Cute. Very cute. Really cute. Really sweet. Okay. So this is a skirt length, so it's mid-calf. This is really hard to know what to wear with it. A lot of women go right to the knee-high boot, but it's too bulky underneath the new pencil skirts of this length. So you want to go for a sling back booty. This one's from Aldo. Now you have cutouts right around the heel and around the, uh, the arch, and this really lightens the boot because it doesn't look like a full boot. Yes, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. lots of hardware, so there's a lot of detail. And then again, outfits from Le Chateau, love the skirt. I think that's a great piece for fall. I had another question. When you have gold hardware on your boots, do you stick with gold hardware on your purses and your jewelry? Don't worry about that. So you can mix and match. So we have different color metals. Don't worry about that one dressing. So really just find, I think gold and brown look the best together. So that's yeah. just what's I know we were taught a long time ago, don't mix your metals. Now we have to mix our metals. Yeah, okay? people still think about it. Yeah. So it seems simple, it. but yeah, mix, yeah. have fun with it. Yeah. And again, don't wear, don't layer too much. This is a boot that you don't want to wear with your big winter jacket because it yeah. doesn't, it's not going to look balanced. No. So that's great. why we have a nice So if you've got a mini skirt, that's a perfect thing to do. Perfect. It's a cropped sling back. Right. And if she wore, like Peter was showing earlier, if she wearing, uh, she's wearing a shorter skirt, she can wear it tight with that. She can wear it tight right yeah. into foot. Yeah. Don't even worry about the sling back. You can wear your nice opaque hose raise as well. Nice. Yeah. You look great. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Then the knee high boot. Knee high boot. Come on in, sweetie. So this I is think a great look. How are you? Well, this is from one of our favorites, right? Line yeah. knitwear. That's the big sweater. Let's move up a little bit. Is that good? Does she look perfect there? Is that perfect? Line? Do I look younger in this light? Right <laughs> okay, good. So thank you, Bob. Says I look younger in that light. Line uh, knitwear is a Canadian company. Yeah. And we love them for we do. So when you're petite, you still want to wear these nice chunky sweaters because that's what's really big and trendy every season. Yeah. But you can't pair this with like a pump or a really small booty. So you need to match the weight of the jacket with a knee-high boot. Mm. So this is not something I would pair with a booty at all. Again, when you're buying these knee-high boots, you don't want to find one that has too much of a gap. So these are nice and slim right around her legs, so they're not going to add any weight. Yeah, sometimes they sometimes boots are really thick around the ankles. They give you cankles. Yeah. 
and they will make you look thicker. So yeah. you don't want that. And okay. I'm not a fan of the slouch booty. You know me. I you know. Add any extra weight no to your legs, right? No slouch Okay. And then again, just extra details. So we're having this nice long nice line. line huh? So this can shorten people, but this line on the side really lengthens the leg as well. So you're doing double duty with these boots. I like that look. Great for petite women with. Uh, tops that have a lot of volume. Okay, so once again, the lesson here is? Big chunky cardigans and big winter jackets. You need a heavier boot, so look for a knee high. Okay, very good. Thank you yep. very much. All right. Nice. The top boot, if you want to see, I love this dress. Stand right here, see in the good light right here. Love this dress. Yeah, okay. this is the dress gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so this is the shoe tee. This is the cropped booty, and that's really a nice snug booty that stops right beneath your ankle. Right. And a lot of people write in, they ask, how do we make our summer wardrobe into fall? So you don't want to revamp your whole wardrobe. So you can take a nice summer dress. This is a beautiful silk from a Chanel. First thing you want to do is just add a nice little layer on top. I think a leather jacket is kind of a good Yeah, so That's your it. number one piece when you're trying to transition. Now, instead of doing a black hosiery and a black shoe, I think it's too heavy for your summer dresses. So try and look for colors. And my key, key is for colors, look for the darkest color in the dress when your mixture of print and use that for your hosiery. That's so we've great. matched the maroon together. Yeah. And then again, a nice caramel booty just kind of matches with the top. And where are these booties from again? Those are from Aldo. Those are cool. They I come like in that. black as well, but I just love the caramel. Oh, we're going on a caramel. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Thank you very much. You look great. Thank you. And the season's it boot. Oh, yeah. This is the it boot, isn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look over no, the knee. No, this is over the knee. Oh. We've seen a lot of thigh-high styles a few seasons back. Yeah. This is a harder sell, a harder to wear. So this is right over the knee. Now, this one, you don't want to bind too tight. So you want to have a little bit of a gap there. I think it makes it look a little more casual yeah. on the leg. And now you're having a lot of volume in the boot. So the tip here when wearing it is you want to match the volume on the top. So the flare of these boots matches the flare of the skirt. Mm -hmm. This is actually the skirt. <laughs> I know, I know. So, it is, so it's another way, yeah. But again, see, I like this too because there's a little bit of a break between the skirt and the boot because yep. you put a, a textured hose in there. That's a lesson uh, right there, isn't it? You want to add in texture wherever yeah. you can. Yeah. You don't want to stick with the opaque. And then again, you're matching the flare. And then you just keep on adding layers. It's getting cool. It is a really heavy boot, so you do not want to wear this with just like a tank top or a thin sweater. Mm -hmm. You really want to have a, have volume on top. I love it all. Yeah. Why don't you go stand by those other beautiful models, my dear? Those are those essential boots. All looking good. Aren't they looking good? They're looking great. So we got good news for everybody. Everyone in our audience is going to go home with a $100 what? Lush Chateau gift card. Yay! Yeah. Thank you, Alexis. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.